If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell icon to get the latest updates. Uh, okay, uh, shall we start? Do you have any questions? Yeah, I have like a quick question. Okay. okay. So, yeah. um, first, uh, I mean, I get the access with the video like a day after our class. Okay. So, I okay. work with the introduction of the studio that you taught me to like, you know, get the web service and test it in the uh, web service tester. Yeah. So, um, you are you showed me to do it for like one particular employee ID, right? Yeah. So just in case if we have to like load it for a lot of employees. See, first we, we will test it only once. First we'll do it with using a web service. This is a tester, I said. No, one employee we will test it. We will yes. take a request. Yes. Okay. That's okay. why we are using a studio integration for a loads of employees. So in studio integration only we'll get a file. Okay. Okay. And then we load it via web service. For the web service, we are passing a dynamic value, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. So web service tester. So you test it. For example, you're doing unit testing. You test for one employee, right? Yeah. So yes. Yesterday, the thing that you showed me to like, you know, import a file from, I mean, import a file and then, uh, you know, split the records and add it back and put it to the tenant is the actual way of doing it, right? Yes. Yes. So I just wanted to know that. And um, so instead of doing that, we can also do inbound EIB, right? That is also the same way. Yeah. See, but inbound EIB, we can do it, but the date we have to get it manually, but we'll not know who is getting hired daily, right? In inbound. We have yes. to manually log, they have to give the file, then we can do it. Okay. Yes. But my requirement in the sense, like I have to get the input from workday, pass yes. it and then up, update it. Update it. Okay. So okay. I also try to like, you know, um, import the integration, like class file from the tenant. Um, okay. The, the report uh, writer, I mean, report splitter, the one that you showed me yesterday. So yeah. I don't know, maybe I didn't configure it properly or something. So can you like run and show me that once? Because when I ran the integration, I got an error. Configure retrieval service. Uh, yeah. Okay. Let me take that integration. Okay. So I, what is I okay. will just, uh, you know, share my screen and I'll show you like you know, what I got. No, you okay. configure the retrieval service, but in, in the tenant, I should have showed you retrieval service. Yes, I'll, I'll show that now. Okay. Give me a minute. I'm just, I'll share my screen. Then I'll show you how to, I'll let me open it first. Okay. So what the error is, you have to have the, configure the retrieval service, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. One minute, let me share my screen. You want me to share? Okay. No, share. I can see my screen. Hello, Shushma, can you see my screen? Yeah, yeah, I can see your okay. screen now. Uh, my, my studio is loading. Okay. So my integration is INT005, right? I think yeah. so. Let me check that. Yes. Okay. So I'll go to this integration, the tenant. Okay. Zero, zero, three, five. Okay. Okay. So this is my input file. I created it. Okay. 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 So let me change the dates. Like, let me say 2050 itself. Okay. This is my okay. date. I have to get updated. Okay. There may be some errors. I'll tell you what is that error. Okay, if I load this file, there will be some error. I'll tell you what is that. Okay. So let me, what error you might have gone like, configure retrieval service. So if you go here, as I said, you can only add a so service there. You have so to configure it here. So what you do is like, since you don't have any SFTP server, right? What you do is like, 
put a uh-huh. here do attachment okay group to manually attach files so you can attach this file as like you no know, at the launch parameter at while launching the integration you can attach it instead of doing retrieval from external location choose group to manual atta- manually attach files and then space mm-hmm. for its integration administrator since you have the integration administrator access so i have a quick question for you so this particular integration you got it when we deployed the studio right deploy your in studio integration to tenant yes so when we deploy it we will get this in the tenant so i have to go and add my attachment in this integration see can you share your screen i'll show you what is the error and then i can figure out what exactly you're trying to do it oh okay yeah so this is the error that i'm getting or i don't know if i did it like go to your tenant go to the tenant okay i'll go to the tenant okay yeah what is the integration name so the integration name is int003 reports plato okay go there search for that one it's or there is an already integration the same name i think okay that's okay yeah. so i i imported the same class only i didn't create it on my own okay i just wanted to like run and see the execution part okay okay run it launch it here go to actions i think this is an outbound integration i think this is not an inbound oh yeah so okay. this is this, this one okay yes we take the report and we split okay. it aggregate it yes so using the same integration you are updating the instead of my old clar file you are, you are deploying a new clar file to it uh new clar file no this is your clar clar file only okay i so got i i went here yeah um, you got my clar files and you loaded there okay yes. what is your what the one which you created which what is integration name for that so i mean in the tenant yes no i didn't create any you have to deploy it right first so you are trying did. to run my integration and you getting some errors so what i did was i went here and you okay. uh, know once say suppose i have this setup okay so i went to assembly and i deployed it to work day okay okay so the first one you can uncheck the second one yeah okay second one you can choose a second one yeah see always in, use include source code and deployed clar include source code and deployed clar because why i'm no. saying is like if you want to have a clar file to be de- taken up later days right you can choose it from there Just finish no. okay okay now go to integr- now go there you can launch it from here as well now go there and launch it go here no yeah so this is the same one no yeah actions this is outbound so i no need to input file to it okay launch it run okay so specify the higher date whatever date you want to specify it specify the higher dates okay okay see in my super, in that particular supervisor organization no employees could be there even that could be the issue the splitter it is not able to split the employees okay that could be the error okay okay it says i have date can you put the like no the task was not authorized can you scroll down who is owning the report oh, okay it says the task is not authorized go to the report which over that particular report, integration is using go to integration system go to services and see report is there right no 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 okay. here report integration service report is there right um 
click on report here see in the right hand side you find reports right integration service report yeah click on that i into 003 which is i not having access to it okay go there and see who is owning it and then that's with the problem okay oh that's why i'm getting an error at the address it's uh, see something with authorized or constrained which is mean like click on reporting yep which is not i not uh, go to view customer report and search for the report okay i am not owning this report i think okay and put this report name okay click okay and see the owner of the report or it's not even shared with us see it's some with with someone else is as owned by it okay so transfer the ownership okay and then try to deploy it and see it okay got it see some with authorized or constrained it is with something it access okay 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 so you can try deploying it and check it okay as i told i'll i'll deploy this uh, inbound integration and i'll check told tell you how like no in real time i'll show you how to deploy it and uh, with a file as i was not showing using the file and i didn't run the integration and show you right today yes. i'll run it and show you so uh, i try to like work on a simple hello cloud uh, integration okay studio integration okay yeah. so similarly i deployed and i try to launch it launch it through studio itself okay so got this particular error total available memory is zero can you but can you expand the complete log file okay so get simple data you are getting some errors at get simple data okay. see the launch parameter can you go to the log file it's yeah. error evaluating template see you are directly putting a cloud log instead of going for cloud log right ha uh -huh. first put a log first put okay. a log see cloud log looks when you want to create a file you can have it okay you want okay. to check any input file first just put a log and then check it first okay okay see can you go to this right in the cloud hello cloud would be a they are will be using a normal logs not a cloud logs are they using cloud log yeah they are using the cloud log only okay okay try to logs cloud log they are getting like at simple can you go to yours can you go to yours hello adrit help me on this one i think i pulled it in the wrong place i guess no no no, no. no yeah it's right only okay so like no uh, you type this or you just copy pasted this one I can you click paste. on it yeah can you click oh, on it this yeah it says this value is what oh, can you go to your right what is in the right component See, I have never tried this hello cloud. I just want to know what is there in it. Okay, go to the message builder. Get simple data name. Okay. So what you're trying? This hello cloud is what is trying to do. I never know what is there in it. What is so it taking? Like you know, um, uh, in the through a right uh, component, we are they are just sending a. Message saying hello, a particular name. So name is in the launch parameter in the start here. Uh, launch parameter. They only see the small n. There you are giving capital. This is small. This is capital n. That is small n. Case sensitive. Oh, okay. Okay, that's why. Okay. It is case sensitive. Okay. Okay. Got it. Okay. 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 Yeah. Yeah, I'll run and show you the inbound. Then I'll complete the leftover calfi functions. Okay. Okay. With that, I'm just completing my training for you. Okay. 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 Let me share my screen. So as I said, so if you want to like, no, I don't have any retrieval function, retrieval SFTP server. So I'm going to attach my integration file manually. Okay. So Groups why do you go to in int zero zero five here? That is my inbound file, right? That is my inbound integration. 
other entity. Okay, okay, got it. yeah, got it. Just getting it file, copying it to a file, right? So okay. I'm going to pass this file. Okay. okay. So this is my input file. Let's say this is two employees. I'm going to pass my values, mm -hmm. retirement eligible date. I'm going to update these two values. Okay. Mm -hmm. It will throw an error. I'll show what. Okay. Okay. So how when you when you configure the retrieval service, right? It will throw mm -hmm. an error. Configure a retrieval service. So when that error comes, you will have to go to actions. Since I already configured once again, it is not showing me. Okay. Mm -hmm. If not, go to configure. It, instead of view, it will be configure integration retrieval. Okay. Okay. You don't want to create any business process. You have to configure, come to the action and do that. Okay. Go here. It will ask configure retrieval service. Click on that. So instead mm -hmm. of, I don't have any retrieval SFTP server. Okay. So mm -hmm. I'm doing group to manually attach files. So you, you have to manually attach files when you're launching it. Okay. Okay. Click. Okay. I don't know where, where this file is actually. I just got it. One minute. Desktop. Okay. Okay. So now I will launch this integration. I'm just attaching it. So click on attach. Choose it from your desktop. I have it in my desktop. Documents. Okay. I know there is an error, but I'll tell you what is that. Okay. Okay, I just gave size. See, I'm just here, like I said, like I size is not there. Okay, I just redeploy it and then show you. Mm -hmm. I think there's a different function. When I deploy it, there's a different clar file. So now I'll deploy a different one. This one put an end. Okay, I have to establish the connection. Now it will do error. Now I can show you. What to configure it. So it throws error, which means like I have to configure my integrated service. Mm -hmm. Okay, see. Go here. Integrate system. Configure. It's not showing me one minute. So 
So groups to manually attach integration administrator. So whenever you deploy it, it goes up actually. So whenever you deploy it only, you can have to come and manually do this. Okay, now this is my integration. It went off, right? So go to actions. And now I launch it. Why is that got failed? See, the reason would be like since I just get her, so it's, it's like the file format issue. See, in the web service, right, we have a different format, right? Mm -hmm. So we have it as like you no know, year, month, and date. But here it's like day, month, and it's not like you no know, recognize this error actually. It should show I since I had a global error, it's not showing here. Okay. So the date is it should be year. In the web service, you see, right? It should be a month and date, right? You'll say this. I just want to format it. Let me format the sheet. Maybe format it. Remember, I just I just forgot where we formatted. Golden date. Long date. Yeah. Last one. So I'll save this file. Okay. And also I'll save this file as. So in the documents. Okay. And then it should be, it should not be UTF file. It should be, see this, uh, the, the uh, studio record is a UTF file. Okay. Mm -hmm. Serve it in the form of, because I felt I faced this issue in real time. So save it as mdoc csv. Okay. okay. And then serve, save it. Okay. Save this file. It's under documents now. Okay, now I'll launch it. Okay, give me a minute. Okay, a minute. And continue okay yeah see i'm just an end, end person okay i don't know uh, what is I'm happening not, in between no i am just with them not at you at all because see i'm in the middle of the training and they come and tell me like okay stop it what does that mean they should have some sense right before saying something yeah it's yeah like, yeah, they, they don't even inform and they directly call you and tell you like you know at least they should have some courtesy to inform me as well 
yeah i think some background that's what, discussion that's what sushma sorry to disturb you this is not about the stopping the class but we have some commitments i am trying yeah. to reach them i am trying to reach like anything they're not hmm. even responding to my calls not even they're seeing my whatsapp sms's they're not even responding to me what is it okay i'm trying to reach them we have ultimately we have some financial commitments na so those has to fulfill ultimately exactly. so ultimately we have to deliver the subject okay that's what so we committed yes okay so i think i'm just want to know the error what it is okay okay i'm just attaching the file so also make sure your file is in no correct format also right and yeah. your date formats and everything is right mm. it's been long time back i built this and i'm not sure like no i mean uh, that's okay if we don't get it but i just want the process right don't worry so much okay so that's what it's like no it's been long time many people might have used that okay and they might have some done some mess up i'm not sure okay yeah this is file yeah. it's in copy some there's a problem yeah, i can debug and show you if you want it like um, you can check it actually if you need anything you can like no uh, ask me in the middle okay sure sir Yeah, yeah, no issues. Okay, so I'll complete the remaining cal fields. Okay, so which are I am left left over. Okay. So I was just going through this particular, uh, you know, um, a file wherein running the EIB outbound through a business process. Oh, I didn't get a question. Sorry, too. Can you repeat it? So I tried to like launch EIB outbound. EIB outbound, okay. Yeah. Through a, um, a business process, okay. So uh, I just, I uh, you know when I was doing that, so I'll have to go and configure um, the launch parameters if you have it. Yes. So first, I'll have to like you know um, uh, get the say suppose if it's higher, mm -hmm. uh, I have to like go get the higher. Uh, Go to higher BP and copy the definition of it, and uh, or you know I can create on my own, and I have to give a business process type, right? So I don't think uh, all the business process types are there in the tenant. Maybe that is why I couldn't like. No, 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 no. If you want to add your integration in your tenant, right, in the higher BP itself, okay, mm -hmm. go to the integration, go to the business process, edit it for for example, all the business process in real time works on default definition, right? correct so go to your default definition add a step from after which step for example let's say after after the employee has been hired this particular induction should should occur or after particular recruiting step you should want to trigger after when you have to decide after which step this indication particular induction should trigger it up okay correct maybe let me share my screen and show you few things uh, let's take bp hire there lot of definitions lot of business with respect to business process hire let me take one and show you to be people lot of creating like no uh, functional guys lot of create lot of business process for their own organization okay yeah. let's take this one okay if it's there if there more steps then i'll take it otherwise i'll take a different higher bp okay okay let's say how many steps are there okay see i want to add a step after the action propose compensation hire my business my integration should trigger it up let's say before the approval my integration should trigger let me any 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 uh business process it could be okay hmm. a business process step okay so what i'll do is like go to actions this is a deep concept this is a default definition okay yes. edit definition okay after which step after b step so after oh. my b step it should be c step mm -hmm. or oh, you can have it as b1 it out oh. it executes the form of alphabetical order right this start as b1 mm -hmm. okay So after my action step, this particular integration should trigger. This is my requirement. Is I'm saying okay? It's a mm -hmm. it's a kind of assumption. Assumptions okay? Not in real time okay? Choose integration here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now which is this group you can specify? It. Like IOC will come there okay? Then so now it. you have your config like it's not configured yet. You have called your integration here. You want to space? You're going to specify an integration here. Okay? Draw mm -hmm. error. so after yeah. then click on configure integration what is the integration name let's say int uh, 
सुषमा ओके 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 एंड देन दिस इज द इंटीग्रेशन okay so here whatever launch parameters you have it even if it's a co connect or calling you you have to configure launch parameters okay okay in this i'm just going to have my sequence generator so i'll specify my sequence generator next to sequence okay okay and then click okay so it will be configured in your business process particular step okay if you go to your business process now you can see the step being added so whenever the process continues automation goes us so after this particular step this integration will be called up and the process will do automatic next step will be continuing as such so yeah so say suppose when we run the integration mm -hmm. um okay so it will go to a and then it will go to b and it will you know complete the action b and then it will go to b1 right yes okay so before going uh, you know before configuring the integration uh, you know before i add the step b1 can i first like complete uh, action b and mm -hmm. then add my integration ha huh? okay so that is just to run no if i uh, configure this how will i um, how will i complete step b uh, without adding my integration see for example now this is this process is let's consider don't for let don't think about abc okay? okay think it in real time okay yes. let's say after her employee is hired mm -hmm. so after the completion step only my retirement date should be updated correct okay so it should be every every business process step every business process will have a completion step every correct. it should be mandatory okay Correct. take fundamentals it should be completely so i will add after that completion step my integration to be called yes. okay if it say if it c step okay mm -hmm. after the c step i'll add one more step called d and then i'll add my integration okay okay so it's it means like where you want to define it the the business analyst will tell after this particular step i want to configure i want to call this automation process which is an integration Correct. okay then you configure go to the particular step and then add it see for example there are 100 why i add as b1 right there are hundreds mm -hmm. of step before let's say it's only four steps so i add as b1 so let's say a b c defined is there and middle they have f after this g and after g h still z are there let's say consider that in the middle mm -hmm. i want to insert one step so okay mm -hmm. i want to insert in the form of f1 f2 so basically business process executes in the form of a1 a for example a which is in a every series will become executed then b series then c series mm -hmm. okay that's why to enter to in, introduce a step between b and c i introduce a step called b1 okay got it so it depends mm -hmm. upon the requirements where you want to insert your integration in the business process okay got it yeah so yeah. uh, while i was going through the uh, i mean you know the certification document so okay. there is same uh, process of calling the integration in the next step okay so like the one that you showed me so there they asked you know like go for a particular uh, uh, bp wherein the step b the process compensation higher uh, should be complete how go to the bp proposed compensation higher okay okay so uh, in the okay so here no the step b proposed compensation what we have taken in this particular higher bp we have a different bp called proposed compensation higher so click on here after the proposed compensation higher you want a particular integration to be called add it here uh just a second i will share my screen and show you okay yeah so if you read it read this see configure integration step for bp uh say xyz so where okay. the uh you know verify the step b is marked as complete step okay see that's yes. why i have said see they huh. want to have add an integration which is completed huh. okay, oh, okay. So, this integration should i said every business process should have a complete step okay so every all the business process should have a completion step okay mm -hmm. so in that case we will mark one of the step as completed step 
I now understood your requirement. Let me share my screen. I'll show you. Yeah. Okay. See, mm -hmm. if you go to any business process, can you see mm -hmm. this integration? Now? Can you see this business process now? Yes. Okay. Can you see it's complete? Yes. My C step is complete. In your in your in your case, B step is complete. So it's yes. up to your requirement to consider which step as complete. Okay. okay. Even I can make B step as complete step. Okay. Is, is, is it just the? Uh, is there a checkbox that we have I'll tell to you? Like... Okay. Set as completion. Oh, okay. Okay. In every business process should be should be we should set as a completion step. So where okay. if the process goes and goes on, we you have to have end point right. It should yes. complete. So we have to, every business process should have a completion step. So after okay. the completion step, I should add my integration. That's why I okay. said after the higher baby is complete in the sense, after mm -hmm. the last step of the completion step, my integration should be called. Okay. Okay. Got it? Yeah, now I got it. Okay, cool. Okay, let me continue my analytics calculation functions. Okay. okay. Oh, BP. Oh, sorry. Create. See, I'll give an example uh, for a count later instance. Okay. I took one from my um, real time example. Let's take no. Uh, let's take, uh, see, okay. Let me compare some later instance, then I'll come for count later instance. Okay. Create cal field. Okay. My scenario is, let me take mm -hmm. a notepad so that I can tell you my scenario. Mm -hmm. So let's say we have a time blocks, right? We have workers who have clocked their times, right? Yeah. So in my time block, whoever have entered their time as overtime, who work for overtime. Okay. okay. And the standard is overtime, but I took it from a real time, okay, which I was doing for some later instance. Okay. So the overtime is like how many overtime hours they have done it? I have to sum it up. Okay. Got it? See, no. I want time blocks for worker who have entered time. Okay. Who have done overtime, overtime hours. How much is the overtime hours? They have done it. Okay, for okay. each day, I have to take it in my report and then I have to sum it up. Yes. Okay, so what yes. do you do is like, go to calculated field, CF, sum later instance, mm -hmm. it's overtime hours. Okay, and my business object will be worker. This is like workers thing, right? I'll take it worker, sum later instance, Okay, mm -hmm. and which is until I want to aggregate it? Time block. Nice. Time block. Time blocks for worker. And what is my condition? So for all instance you want to do it, you can do it for all the time blocks. But I want to do only for overtime. Mm -hmm. So condition. Okay. Okay. This overtime will be a true or false is there. Okay. Or else you can create a cal field. This overtime. Okay. Okay. It's a cal field. Let's say I have created it. I'll just show, open that and show you. See, these are the overtime tags. They have it. So okay, this under this calculation tags, we have this overtime. Okay. okay. It's taking like see, these are in the organization, they consider these tags as overtime, then you have to add it. Okay. The additional time, compensatory hours, late night work, these are all. Like overtime. overtime consideration, right? So it's there okay. a lot of things. So I have just added all the overtime things. Okay. Okay. So whenever they have this task, I have this task like no, see, let's say you're going on sick leave. So that mm -hmm. is a time tag, right? So that sick leave will be wanted to come sum it up, you can take it. So it depends okay. upon tags. We have overtime hours or like no compensatory leaves. So something a lot of tags they maintain in the with respect to time tracking module. Okay. okay. So see, this is my overtime. So I'm just taking this overtime tags. So whichever uh, employees start adding some additional hours under the stacks, it will be tagged. But I want to take my summation. So, so calculate overtime time um, cal field, like you have created it or it's workday delivery? No, oh, it's a calculated field. You can see it's a calculated field. Okay. 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 So I want to calculate the, I want to sum the quantity, how they have, how much they have done it for each day. So every, it will take all the instance of it. Okay. okay. It will sum it up and give it to me. All the later instance, some the later instances. Okay. Okay. I'll take this cal field and put, the, put it in the report and show you. Okay. 
I'll add this report mm -hmm. to this report. It's your report, I think. I'll just add it and show. You. Sorry for that. Yeah. So is there like a, um, uh, you know, technique to remember like when to approach what calc field? When to I approach mean, what calc field? See, yeah. It depends upon, like, you see, once you get practice, right, you will know it, where to okay. pick, when to, when to pick up, uh, what to take it. So just mm -hmm. understand the concept of the field. So like what this field is meant for, then you will understand it. Okay. First thing is like, as you know, you have already worked on, right? You have to understand mm -hmm. the scenario. You have to understand the requirement. If we yes. understood the requirement, we can make it up easily. As I always did, you show me mm -hmm. the scenario. First, I was misunderstood. Then I understood clearly. Then I was able to pick it up. Okay. Right? Yeah. yeah. Since we have the time block for worker, right? It will mm -hmm. have a start it in a day. See, let's say why that was prompt is coming now. So mm -hmm. we have started in end date. Every from which date for what time for me 10 years back, maybe five years back also. From which mm -hmm. day to which date you want to consider the time block for worker field as is inbuilt prompts. Mm -hmm. So let's say from I don't think they'll be maintained, but let me check if they have it. From August 1st to till date, if there any overtime is there, worker is there. I'll remove this prompt as of now. You can add it later. Okay. 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 Well, I'll use this one on the use of other like more the condition. The value is blank. I'll use the other condition. If you don't let it be there, I will mm -hmm. use this one from the user for the value and ignore the condition. The value is blank. Okay. okay. So when we're filtering, we only get indexed worker field, no? Um, here. Because That's you're given. Right? No, I, I unchecked it. Well, if you uncheck this checkbox, you can have both, both indexed index. and standard fields. Okay. okay. But so you're also looking for like a self-referenced -re worker field, but uh, I didn't get it when I searched. So I thought maybe it is because... I don't know. I've chosen in the filter. You are searching for the self-referencing field. That's also itself is my indexed. So I thought maybe it's because. Let me check any employees having greater than zero. Greater than one. I think in this channel there is no employees having those things. Okay. Okay, maybe let me try doing it for Logan and I check and I show, you, show you. But you understood the concept, right? I, I understood the concept. Okay. Okay, then if I have time, I'll do it and show you. Okay, I'll make a note of it. If I get time, I'll do that and show you. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me take a count later instance. Okay. Mm -hmm. My next scenario is I want to get a number of regular employees in an organization. Only regular employees type. Okay. Okay, I just want to get the count of that. Okay, in that okay. I cannot do it on worker business process because worker is one record per employee, right? Worker is one record. Okay. okay. But I want to use, I will use organization. In an organization, my requirement mm -hmm. is in an organization, how many employee types are there? Okay. So the BO would be what? Uh, organization. organization. Yeah. yeah. You can make a note of this. this is all real time one. Okay. You can yeah. make a note of it. Yeah. See also, I, I, I thought you will come up with question. Okay. Huh? Let me, let me talk about this. I was, I was, I will tell you, I thought of telling you, okay. I thought you will come up on the last session. At least I was waiting for your feedback. Okay. 
let me test it now okay i'll do this then i'll come back to the other one so you're doing anniversary report right yeah. okay yeah. okay let me run this and i'll come back to that topic okay mm-hmm. let me complete this so this started right i'll complete this why this is not okay spelling is wrong sorry okay yeah count later instance and then regular count regular count my space object is organization and it is count in the count it see most of options will be same related count and uh, mm-hmm. sum So in sum we will have this fields to sum fields to aggregate whereas mm. here we will not get it okay mm. just give the count okay count of instance not the value for example mm-hmm. uh, all the employees in an organization right if the count of like to count as 100 100 employees it give you 100 employees 100 count as 100 mm. based okay. on the yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, let's take this is would be my employees right. so employees count we wanted so the related field is employees mm-hmm. okay it should be mm-hmm. because there will be multiple employees it will be multiple employees multi instance field okay and mm-hmm. employees regular okay i didn't uh, i think somebody has created but i you want me to create or you can understand it right i'll open this and show it you can open. employee type is regular okay okay so it will count and give me all the instances which are there for employees okay, okay. in an organization you can see in the let me give you the count of the employees okay okay this is one inst- one uh, thing okay so let's come to the anniversary report mm-hmm. this one right so, yes. yeah that's the one I did I did a like one blunder one here, but I thought you'll come up with this. But let me let me tell you what I did. Mm-hmm. Okay. Edit it. Go to the filter. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. See, this is a text field. To the text field. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm just comparing to a number. Okay. If I remove this five before five, I remove the zero, right? Mm-hmm. My output will not be proper. I'll run and show you. Okay. I know what is a mistake. Okay. Uh-huh. Six also coming. Sixteen also coming. No, why? Mm-hmm. What is a mistake? I'll tell you. Okay. See, we are comparing a text field to a numeric. Okay. That's why your output was not coming. I thought you'll come up with this. Even I did the same. Okay. Yeah. Your output was coming. You're comparing a text field to a numeric field. So okay. what do you have to do? Actually, you have to me. convert the text field to a numeric field. So again, we have a function called convert text to a number. Number. Okay. So whenever you do the scale field, right? A date mm-hmm. difference. That the the date difference, right? Determines your text field type. Okay. Okay. Let me okay. go to that field. Uh, this is a field field right so yes. if you go here extracts a part of the date field and format as a text field okay this is a text field now this becomes a text field so if you compare comparing a text field to a numeric field it won't happen okay so what do you do is like convert text to number okay cf convert i thought you will come up with this when i thought well i complete this function right i'll tell you this one Okay. Okay. Work. Yeah. So click OK and put that particular cal field so that it gets converted to a numeric field. And if you give five also, it will consider it. Okay. Got it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Don't see wrong error. I'll put it up. Click OK. So now this will become a this becomes a numeric field. Okay. 
okay now if i go and add it both the fields you have to do it okay and then you can compare it now it will come cut now in your report your report result will be working fine now i can give five also zero five also it doesn't matter it doesn't matter got it okay this function will be useful when you want to convert any text to a number okay but you want to convert a like let's say my another scenario is okay now you converted this to a number okay i want to i want to do a comma like no concatenation of a new i have a, like no i have concatenate a numeric field just just displaying it as like no uh, like say 1000 it's a numeric field okay have to concatenate numeric plus a text field let's say name okay but i can in the concatenate text i can concatenate a series of text on a single instance field right i cannot concatenate numeric field type yes. how can we convert numeric field to a text field there is no option of convert numeric to text also how can we do that there is no function called convert other number to text is not there this okay. like no in real time i face this problem so how could i do that could let's say that? let's say uh five years i want to display years of services there okay i have to concatenate this five plus years i'll take a text constant and I'll, i'll put a number there and then concatenate this is this is numeric constant five you will get a numeric constant and concatenate both will be you put a text constant with this but high it's a it's a day difference field which is giving me a day difference field let's say it's a numeric field mm -hmm. okay numeric field i want to convert to a text field let's say 5 is a numeric field type not field field type is numeric okay i want to do a combination of numeric plus text mm -hmm. i'll tell you so we have to like format number is there so when you do a format number okay it when you form it will format the number okay see here format number we test okay format a numeric text numeric field as a text field okay so always read this description okay it gives a lot of it means a lot mm -hmm. okay so whatever field you want to do it let's say total base pay i'm just giving an example okay it gets converted to a field field 1 like to text to field type okay. okay and the format you can give it as normal like no you want it to like thousands or whatever you want it let's say i use this okay if i want to convert to a text to field so it will this like it becomes a text field say it becomes a text field right okay okay you do this for formatting text mm -hmm. not only for formatting numbers you can also use to convert a number to a text field field Okay. Okay. Got it. Okay. So let me find which our functions left over, and I'll give an example for it. I'll do it and show you also. Okay. Okay. So I'm left with extract multi instance also. I'll do that as well. Okay. I have like extract multi instance. Aggregate, I'll take it up at last. Okay, arithmetic calculation we did. Build date, concatenate text. I'll take convert currency. See when this convert currency comes up, right? For example, total base pay is there, right? Total base pay will be like combination of euros, USD, mm -hmm. yeah, INR. So combinations are there, right? Mm -hmm. I want to convert all my. For example, you want to do some calculation on the. You want to do a arithmetic calculation on total base pay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So in that case, different current. It's a currency field, right? So what we can do is like you want to do some calculation on it. Some might be in euros, some might be in USD. You cannot do pop like correct calculation to it, right? Mm -hmm. So what you do is like convert to a one currency field. Okay, mm -hmm. let's say all the current all the fields should be converted to USD. Yes. Okay, convert currency. Base pay. Okay, so go here. So what is the source field? It is total base pay. Okay, what is the currency code? You have to give a currency code. You have to convert to USD or euros or INR. You can give it here. 
okay or in say code you have to give it so as of date see for example why this as of date is required is like see yesterday the dollar might be waiting maybe 70 rupees today it may be 73 rupees yeah, right yeah. so 10, two years back it may be 63 rupees so yeah. as of which date you want to look up for the value yes okay as of today you can take the values okay okay so you can actually as of current date or like no it's current rate i mostly space it as current okay as of average or budget or like you can take add current okay so if there is as you know return zero if there is any blank values form you want to return zero you can make it okay got the concept of this one convert currency when we use it when you want to do it and convert all the currency total base pay and you want to do it okay okay next let's see what aggregate i'll come i'll come around. because once you understood the multi instance one i'll come to the uh, feel like an aggregate related instance okay so let me let me give an example for aggregate related instance i started right see why we use this aggregate related instance right see in a related business object whatever in your child business object is having it eliminates any duplicate things are found it will eliminate it from the results like okay. great and See, for example, in a day, two, three do duplicate uh, transactions are there, instances are there. It will eliminate it automatically. Okay. Let's see, like okay, let me test. Okay. It will be what? Aggregate it. So it will return. It like you can use only aggregate fields that are single and multi instance. You cannot do a condition on the. It's not fields to aggregate is not with the numeric or text types. Okay, mm -hmm. you want to like say let's say dependence. Okay. Okay. If there is any duplicate, for example, with the same name, uh, a child is there. Okay. and you want to remove those things okay mm. it will get removed okay you want to aggregate the relationship it is an instance feed you can aggregate only on the in, like no instance and the multi instance feed if i click on all you cannot see a field which is numeric or text i'll show you okay okay if there is any duplicate instance it will eliminate automatically you can see only x multi instance single instance field okay got it so yeah. with respect to some related instance you can sum on the numeric field only okay? okay but here it's like it eliminates all the like no duplicate instances and give you the remaining instances to be aggregated okay got it that's why we use aggregate related instance yes got it okay so next coming to left over do i have something no need to put a comma do i have to put a condition See, for example dependence i want to take only child okay then okay. take the relationship as child and take it feels like no only child will be aggregated and given to you okay got it okay mm -hmm. condition is whenever you required it's not mandatory if only see as i said you want to take all instances or particular instances okay if okay. you want to specify the condition specify it if not take all all the consider all the instances remove the duplicate instances and aggregate and give it to me okay Okay. See, aggregates multiple instances of a field in a related business object based on the condition. Okay. Got it. Okay. So make sure fields to aggregate in the aggregate instance only single and multi instance field. Okay. Okay. This may are they may ask in interviews. Okay. Okay. They don't basically they don't ask about this. I never nobody to my interviews also and nobody asks about aggregate. It's a very rarely used calc field. Okay. okay. But it's good to know it. Okay. And we have extract multi instance lookup hierarchies. They are taking up. Yes, extract multi instance. Let's say my scenario is okay. See, the child might be dependence is there. Okay. I want to take child. Relationship only. The child maybe one, two, or three, or four, or five. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I want to take 
workers dependent whose relationship is child alone okay it's a multi instance field right see so if you extract single instance either you can extract only one child of the name right it displays only one child see so if you put what do you write extract single instance and you put lrv it gives you only one value right yeah yeah got it but i want to take all the dependence child relationship only all the child so i'll create a extract multi instance one yes okay okay child and it will be worker okay so here I'll, see i'll talk about this operation type see subset union intersection except and this we all four functions we have okay mm -hmm. so what we is uh, subset is like it look for the one it see here only one source field is there if you use subset okay if you use intersection it goes to two source field okay if you use subset it only one okay union two Hmm. And except is two. Okay. Can can you think of a Venn diagram in real, like when you do in like you no know, in lower classes, right? You may think of a Venn diagram. Hmm. Okay. See, so hmm. intersection is the common portion. Common right? portion. So it will hmm. filter the instance from both the field, and it turns only the instance that is common to both the fields. So it will take let's take intersection. It will take both the field types. Okay, source hmm. field both the So source fields, okay. So both the sources which are satisfying this condition will take that particular instance, and which is common to both of them will be displayed, okay. Okay, mm. okay that is intersection. Okay, mm. union is any one condition is getting satisfied, it will take it up. Yes. Okay, that is combination of union, and except is the other part. Except this intersection, the remaining part will take it up. right you can under, you can think of like that right and okay. subset is only see let's say two things are there so it will take only how could i say with respect to subset so this dependence okay let's say dependent it consider the related business object okay and relationship is child I think this could be relationship is still of cat fields today. So it will consider only one field. From the one field, what is the instance is getting satisfied? It will display it. Okay. okay. In this, they are taking only the female relationship child. Relationship is child, and the gender of the dependent should be the child should be female. Female child they are taking it up. Yes. Okay. So how many female childs are there? It may display you that. Okay. okay. I think this is a field or not. I'm just giving you that particular example. Okay, mm -hmm. so that way, it is. It consists only one field in that which is satisfying condition is getting satisfied. That particular one will be will be pulled up in this subset. Only one field considers and it gives you the particular condition satisfying condition. All the instances will be displayed. Whereas this intersection and other things consider two source field based upon the conditions both of the source fields. It will take the particular instance and then gives you the results. Okay. Mm -hmm. Next time, left over. You can make a note of this. You are not making the instances, right? What are instances I am giving it? Example. I am making a note of it. Okay. So we saw aggregate related instance. In the aggregate instances, we can aggregate only single and multi instance field. Okay. So it aggregates the related instance, related business object fields. Okay, yeah. arithmetic calculation as you know it, it's a addition, division, subtraction, and addition, yeah. subtraction, division, and multiplication. Okay, build date it's a combination of static and dynamic mm -hmm. field types. So concatenate text you can concatenate a series of single and text oh, fields. Text. Convert currency to convert to a single currency if there's a multiple currencies involved. You want to convert to common currency field. We use convert currency as of which date. Okay, you want to convert any text to a numeric field. You use convert text to number. Count literals as like 
number of instances which is satisfying the particular condition you want to count the instance not to feel the sum not get the sum of it get count only the instance of it we use count later instance yes date consists is hard coding the dates right date difference gives you difference in years month or days or things okay yeah okay in evaluate expression so what is evaluate expression band any idea um, about it yeah so say suppose we have like a, a range of values uh, to compare say suppose the age between you know dependent ages between 5 to 9 consider it so like. it can only thing one point to be noted is like it can do we can do only on numeric or a currency fields we cannot do on text fields we cannot do on like no comparison like no evaluate an expression on a band some numbers only we can do the evaluate expression not on the text or any instance fields okay that's a but difference but evaluate you can do it on text also no yeah evaluate expression you can do it but this evaluate expression band we can do the conditions evaluate an expression only on numeric or currency fields okay I'll create and show you. And these options you can see it at least. See. Yes. Okay. You have to specify a condition. Okay, not this one. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Not this one. I was talking about the lookup band range. Okay. So sorry. So you can place a condition. It's like for example, you want to do some. Uh, like no conditions over here. Like basically, when we do this, like bands. Let's say band one to band two. Okay, mm. you're saying about lookup uh, band range. Okay, that mm. is for get for numeric and currency. I'm sorry for it. I got a bit confused. Okay? okay, so this is based on the condition on bands. Let's say manager one. So let's say band one, band two. Every organization will have bands, right? Band one, band two, band three, band four. So, mm -hmm. if you want to place a condition on see condition of bands, then you can use this evaluate expression. Then, even this can be done using evaluate expression also. Okay, if something mm -hmm. if you want to do an expression on bands, you can use this a calculated p function. Okay, see evaluate is a series of condition bands. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you want to do any condition on bands, the organization levels, you can do it on here. Okay, okay. it's evaluate expression band. I was talking about. A lookup range band is there. I was okay. for that. See, we need to look up right a lot of lookup values. I'll tell you what. So default value, I can give text or number or anything, no? Ha huh, ha. Huh. See, don't I still? It's only for lookup related band. It is wrong. I told for that only we have. We can get only numeric core. currency okay. fields in range band you can have text or even uh, like no the number also you can have it okay mm -hmm. see it, it we can do an evaluation on band let's say manager level band 1 band 2 in which see when you draw an organization everybody ask in which band you are you are mm -hmm. they ask right which like no the other grades you can do yeah, yeah. evaluate expression on grades okay mm -hmm. see you see there are a lot of lookups are there we just saw lookup as of as of date and lookup related value And lookup date roller base, all right. Let's see mm -hmm. the other lookup values. So the lookup range band is there, right? This is what I was talking about. To this calculated field, we can pass only numeric or currency fields. I think we only lookup related value. Which is a lookup related value, right? Yeah, only that I guess. Okay. So, roll up. I don't think we saw lookup date roll up. Date roll up is record date for formatting. The record date we used date roll up, right? Recording. We're using tending reports. Okay. Okay. We're using time period for the time period we are using record date. That record date we formatted using lookup date roll up. Remember? Um, Maybe I can recollect. Not a problem. I'll recollect you. Lookup range man. Okay. So here you can specify only numeric or a see order. If you click on your number one to five, what is the return value? Return only can be text. Let's say zero to five. Display five five years. Okay. So on which field? Let's say uh, age. Okay. 
okay if they have like no 0 to 5 years it should display 5 years okay if it is going to be 0 to like no 5 to 10 display as 10 years so it can do only on numeric and a currency field here okay this what i was meaning previous like no it was for look up range back okay, okay. Mm -hmm. so you can see only numeric and a currency field here yes okay. got it so you understood this requirement right so if there is any points also like we can do decimal points also over here okay 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 so next coming to organization rules look up here okay So we saw lookup field with prompts. I'll tell you, uh, lookup translated when we see it up, and then it'll come up. Okay. See, for example, in workday, right? Certain translations will happen in the tenant level. Okay. You look up for you want to look up the translated when it's a language translation. Okay. okay. In the field, uh, you want to have a translated value in some language. Okay. Let's say organization name. Okay, let's take this text field, and you want to do a language in Spanish. Whichever language you want to get translated, you can choose it. If it is maintained, translation is maintained in tenant only. You can have it. For example, for this field, if the translation is maintained in the tenant with respect to Spanish language, then you can get the output in Spanish. How do they do that? Okay. Like no, they do it like business. So it's a functional topic. business object trans this is report may they translate the object using this language to target language they translated you can see it here to whether okay. it's been translated or not okay this panish If it is empty, then it's not been translated. So we can have to check here and see. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. So that is what it is. You want to get a translated value to it? You can check it here. Okay. okay. See, this language is not found. If not found, this is not found. Then you can mm -hmm. do it. Okay. This is translated value. Mm -hmm. Just loading. Let it load. Meanwhile, I'll go for the other function. See, I, like Nini, you know, I'm, you may not think I'm just showing it, and I didn't have enough time to like. No, it's a very short. I as in it's a very short span of time. I try to cover all the topics. I may not Can add. I, What is that? You understand? Yeah, I, yeah, I understand. Uh, the thing is, um, the rest of the calc fields. Okay, so I'll check the community, and uh, you know, I will uh, learn it. Like, on my own so can you like you know briefly uh, tell it i mean you don't have to show me uh, can you tell me that you know how do we start the process um, as in like you know uh, before we hire an employee to a particular organization when we get a fresh tenant we start by creating supergs right see basically we don't create it see creation okay. is only to understand the process Okay. Any okay. any organization, we don't create it. We do I loads. Yes, I loads. Now, okay. now, do we have I loads? I mean, even now, like they wanted to change it to to object something. Didn't get your question. Sorry. So I mean, it, it, the same process: create I loads and then input the data. You want me to show here? Uh. No, I, we don't okay. have. We we cannot do an I load yet. It's not an implemented access, right? Not there, yeah. That's what I want. See, you can practice the inbound. Same inbound and I loads are same. Same sheets are same. Yes. See, yes, I see. Yeah, 
my only thing is my only question is so i mean uh, i mean say suppose being a functional consultant like when we go for the integration uh, uh, training also they'll teach us yes, the fundamentals yes fundamentals they teach no so i just wanted the steps that i should know okay so that you know i'll go and i'll look for it yeah okay i can create and show you one minute okay so this is a task to cr- start like to create a supervisory organization okay so re organization is a place where it gets stored it's a kind of storage place okay yes. you have to create a re organization for yourself okay for your uh, thing supervisory organization let's say chushma mm-hmm. okay so under this it gets stored okay even if you create a co center or you create a company it gets stored here okay so first you have to create it creates re organization so let's say sushma okay see basically we specify the register 01011900 1, okay so say that whatever could be the date it gets created from this this is a date which is been going to be effective okay you can give the description as such okay fine now under this you will give the uh, if it's like now you start creating a supervisory organization what is the name let's say sushma company name as supervisor organization is susma inc the company okay. name so you want to include okay. organization id in name yes you can do click on this okay you want to like you a company should be having a code let's say 1 2 3 4 5 okay so when when the number when the organization is named displayed you want to include code also you have to choose a check box okay you want to include name in it you can include name in it Okay. okay. Sub type. What is a sub type? It's a supervisory organization, or it's a supervisory, or it's a company hierarchy, or it's a department, or it's a division. Okay. Okay. Minus supervisory. First, you will create a supervisory organization, right? So supervisory. Okay. And then it should be visible to private or public or everyone, or it's everyone or only roles I have people who have roles only should have see this. You can select. Okay. You have to choose from here. Okay. Okay. So supervisory always it will be everyone. Okay. okay so what is a primary location you have to give your primary location for it united states okay. okay this company anything any location you can give it see coming here what is position and job based see position based uh-huh. is something it doesn't follow any recruiting process okay if you choose position you can directly hire an employee to the position no need of no need of having a job requisition or job profile to high get hired to it okay okay if you book of a job based right if you have you should have a job requisition to it true job requisition employee should be hired into the organization okay you should have a recruiting module for it okay okay got it yeah. so i'll go for position based as of now okay click okay now my supervisory organization is created okay got it yeah okay now my under this i want to create a subordinate okay. go to reorganization create subordinate okay now i'll create okay. one more thing under the seat let me show you okay you have an organization supervisory organization okay mm-hmm. under that you will have a let's say it department finance department hr department okay three departments are there now you have under supervisory you have three departments so you have to create three subordinates okay right so i am going yeah. to create three subordinates from there okay it you want to include codes you can include it okay i am just going to be organize it's again let's say it's going to be department it's not a supervisory it's a department right yes okay click okay okay see what is the company code organization code since i name same like this is name of the supervisory organization it includes the code okay got it okay see now if i go you have a subordinate it department got it 
so again you want to create one more subordinate go to actions similar so now reorganization create subordinate okay so let's go and see our chart how it looks go to actions or chart so here i can go to department directly and hire an employee right by creating a you position. have to have a position to that first go and go to staffing create position so you should have a position right then you can hire a employee to the position right so under the site department i want to have three positions you can create a three position and say it manager i want to hire it okay okay and then what is our arrival date it should be it say uh, 1st of october and my earliest hire date is 8 okay so if you give no job restrictions these things are not required to specify it Okay. okay. If I uncheck it, it will throw error. You have to specify the job profiles. Okay. Let's say job profile as a lot of we have can create a job profile. Okay. Just say create job profile. Go to J create job profile task and create a job profile to it to have a like no attached to it. Okay. Okay. Now I give as of as of like no no job restrictions. Okay. Okay. And click OK. If you are like no what is it like no when you specify the job profile everything which is from in the job profile will specify what is the time type everything right that will come automatically. Okay. When you choose it. See you will have time type everything will be discussed here. Okay. Yes. So whatever is, when you choose a job profile whatever with respect to job profile the values will be auto populated in the job. job details okay see now the if you go here okay under this under subordinate we created position right where is the position okay let me go here why the role Not roles. Under staffing, we will get we will get the position actually. Okay. Okay. Let me play one more time. Chu chu. I think the date I gave it later date I get. I think. Oh. Yeah. While well, we gave later dates, I think. Okay. Let me play one more. Chu chu chu. I don't remember what dates I get. Okay. Create position. See availability date. Let's say some September first. Okay, earliest hire date is first of. Think. Let me take three positions. No restrictions. So three positions are being created under this. Why is it not showing here? I can see it there. Yeah, yes. Sorry, here it's got created. Can you see three positions? Okay. So under IT, I have created position. Three positions are there. So to this position, I have to fill the employees. Because since I made no job restrictions, there is no job restrictions. Okay. Okay. Go to actions. Hire, hire employee. Okay. So you hire an employee to the organization. You want to create a new pre-hire. Click OK. Okay. Now you can hire it. Okay. Got it. You want to hire and show you? No, no, that's fine. That's fine, right? Okay. This is how we create a supervisory organization, and then we create a position, and then we hire it. Okay. So I understand what is between job based and position based, right? So job based, we create a position and hire it. 
that is to in job based uh, in position based in job based you need to have a job requisition to hire to an employee to it okay any questions so oh, it's like we can convert the position uh, based to job uh, based but yes it's not right we can convert edit staffing model again okay so we can edit it even if i choose like say a uh, job profile based superb i can change it later to position based if i want yes i think one minute hmm i think we we can do that but i don't remember where we can can actually change it but i am not remembering the option to do that okay i think we need to start in model i think once you hire to it can't change it yes yes once you started hiring it you can't change it but before that you can change it okay okay Any more questions? Uh, no. Thank you for attending the session. I hope you all enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Also, feel free to ask your questions in the comment section below, and we will reply to them at the earliest.